Hi there, this is Kevin from Ad Ronin, and this is number one of a four-part video series in which we are going to show you how to set goals for a digital marketing campaign and almost guarantee its effectiveness. In video number two, we're going to show you how to set up a lead ad on Facebook in a way that actually converts and works. In video number three, we're going to show you how to integrate that lead ad with Zapier so that it connects with your email uh, follow-up system also with Google Sheets uh, and basically we're going to give you every chance possible to turn your leads into actual customers and in the final video we are going to use the goals that we set in video number one to show you how to optimize your campaign scale it or figure out why it isn't working uh, right now is where I say all of the YouTube stuff. Maybe you hit these these things. Uh, and let's hop into today's tutorial. Okay, so developing an effective campaign is pretty simple. You just have to have your head around uh, the different jargon and the key factors that are going into each part of the campaign. The number one uh, bit of information that we're going to need is a budget. How much are you willing to spend on this campaign in any given month? Uh, we set it up a, as a monthly retainer and we basically get our clients into the same mode of thinking. Um, also, you could do lifetime over a few months. You can set it up in, in a bunch of different ways. It doesn't really matter how you do it. You just need to know the budget that you are working with. Uh, also, what we need to know is the price of the product. So essentially, if the, if the customer or yourself sells one, one unit, how much do you make from that? Uh, you can look at this two ways. One, it could be like the initial purchase. If you purchase uh, one uh, ad copy plus video off of us, uh, the price is $89. However, we find that most people that purchase from us once actually are going to purchase closer to five times over the course of the year, uh, at which point the, I'm not a math guy, but you know, what we're looking at is the price goes more to a lifetime value. So you could range, you know, hit that up at uh, closer to 450. Uh, either way that you do this calculation, it works out. You just need to understand which one, uh, which version of it you're doing. Now, CPC, uh, this is obviously very important because uh, this is how much we are willing to pay for a cost per click. Uh, if you are getting cheaper costs per click, you are going to get more out or more chances uh, at sales. You know, things that go into your cost per click would be one, the quality of the ad. Uh, and also the quality of the offer that you are putting in front of people. If you're using an offer-based campaign and you're giving people a reason to take action, you're going to find that your cost per click is very low. Uh, if your ad doesn't stand out, it's not appealing. It's, you know, basically it's advent advantageous to you or your customer and not really to the prospective customers, then you're going to have a higher cost per click. Also, cost per click might be high because you are in an industry that is either saturated or where everybody else in the industry, say like a, a lawyer, everybody is okay with paying more because basically uh, when they do land a client, it's worth thousands of dollars for them. So these are all the factors that go into the cost per click and why it's actually important. The lower your cost per click, the more kicks at the can you get here. Um, the next things that you have to take into account are your target conversion rate on your landing page. Uh, so essentially what we're saying is if we send 100 people to your landing page, how many people actually fill in their information uh, and either make a purchase or accept your offer and become a lead? Uh, a typical landing page uh, conversion percentage can change according to a number of things. Uh, strength of your offer, uh, if you're running a sale, how good your website is, speed. Uh, generally, if you're looking at a, uh, a product page, you know, you're getting a conversion rate of 1% to 3%. Uh, if you're doing a leads-based campaign with a good offer, you know, you could be going anywhere from 15 to 30%, you know, even 50% on your landing page. 
if it is a leads based campaign, the other thing that you have to bring into account is the overall conversion for your booking and sales call. So if your landing page is booking at 50% and 50%, so we send 100 people to your landing page and 50 of them accept your offer on your landing page, then what you need to say is of those 50 people that became leads, how many did you actually book for a meeting? Uh, let's call that another 50%. So now you have 25 people have actually become leads that are interested in a sales call. And then on your sales call, how many of them do you turn into actual customers? Uh, and then that's gonna get your, your lead to customer rate. The final thing that we have to uh, take into account is uh, your return on ad spend. So this is essentially what we can give to a customer and say, realistically, we think this is what you should be able to accomplish with this ad. So your return on ad spend is a super important uh, feature and it basically uh, breaking even is not gonna be good enough because there's other costs that go into this. Nobody wants to do it for that rate. Uh, a good return on ad spend, depending on your industry, you know, you're either looking, you know, really what you want is something starting at three, anything higher than that is good. Uh, we always try to aim for kind of five to one, because if you get a five to one return on ad spend, uh, your customer is always going to be happy. And then it gives you lots of room to turn up your spending and try to scale your campaign. Okay, so let's get into the calculator. Uh, now, once again, you can find this on adronin.com. The post name is how to set goals and calculate ROI for digital marketing campaigns. Uh, the links are also in the description of this video. Now, what we have here is basically how much are we willing to spend? Uh, so we'll just say this is for a digital marketing company and let's say we're gonna spend $1,000 this month as our monthly budget. Uh, our average sale price. So here this can take into two, you know, you can take a few things into account. This can either be, uh, say your monthly campaigns would cost say $1,500, for example. Uh, but these people could also stick around for say an average of three months. So let's use that as a number where basically if we do get a lead and turn it into a customer, experience has shown us uh, that they'll typically stick around for about three months, which would get the average sale price to around 4,500. Now, because digital marketing is kind of a busy industry, um, not busy industry, but you know, you're going up against some real high caliber people that are really good in this field. So we're gonna say, we think that we can get a uh, cost per click of around $3.50. You got to stand out from the crowd for this. Uh, a lot of different factors go into that. Uh, how many ads they've seen you before, if they're familiar with you, the quality of your ads, are you running an offer? Uh, and now what we're talking about is the target conversion rate. This is on your landing page. So, Basically, if we send 100 people to your landing page, how many of them read what you have to offer and actually turn into a lead? So uh, experience has showed us that our landing pages will convert at about 15% for this style of campaign. Um, and then our final step that we want to figure out here is our lead to customer rate. So this is after we've had everybody opt in at 15%. Uh, how many of them actually book a sales call with us and then everybody who shows up on the sales call, how many of them actually turn into a customer. Uh, and what we're going to say is that is normally around 20%. Uh, just this is what history has shown us. So we'll fix out this calculator a little bit longer. We haven't published it yet. But essentially what we're saying here, if we go through the results, is if we are spending a thousand dollars and our expected cost per click is three dollars and fifty cents that will get us 285.7 website visitors 286 website visitors that means of these people 
uh, and our target conversion rate is 15%. So we have 285, 15% of that is 42.8 leads. That means we're gonna get 43 leads at this amount of spending if we are getting uh, 350 for our conversion, or sorry, for our cost per click and our conversion rate. To do a little bit more math, that means we are paying $23 uh, per lead, which is right on point. We really uh, will take that price any day for these style of campaigns. A value of our lead, we figure this out by essentially taking the lifetime value that we get from somebody, the expected value, um, and then basically we divide that into into the cost. So each of these leads that's coming into coming in at twenty three dollars is actually worth about nine hundred dollars to us. If we wanted to just do this as a monthly total, we'll just slide this down. Fifteen hundred is kind of an average thing. So that's still saying that every lead that's coming in, essentially, we're saying if we give uh, Facebook and our marketing team $23, they're going to turn that into $300. And we will do that all day, every day. So the next number we're looking at here is our expected revenue. So this is saying that essentially if we're spending $1,000 and we are turning that into 42 leads and we close them at 20%, then basically what we're getting is a $12,857 return uh, minus the ad spending. That's $11,857 of profit, uh, which means our return on ad spend is, you know, basically this is a percentage. So this is going to be 11.821. So as an ROI, 11.8 to one, if I give you $1, you know, and you give me basically $12 back, I'm going to be super happy with that all of the time. Uh, the next things that I'm going to show you is essentially how we can use this projection um, to actually build out our ad, know what we're looking for. Uh, and then these are going to go back into step four of this video series, and it will show us how we can optimize and scale our campaign using these numbers. Also to let us address anything that's underperforming. Okay, so if you have any questions, please make sure to message us in the comments section below. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Uh, if you're only watching step one, make sure to go on to step two and stick with it. Okay, take care.